In this video, I'd like to show you how to divide numbers ending in zeros. So that means problems like this, 200 divided by 40, or problems like this, 1,200 divided by 300, and also division problems like this, 27,000 divided by 9,000. First, it's important to know that numbers can be made 10, 100, or even 1,000 times smaller by dividing the number by 10, 100, or 1,000. For example, take the number 53.26. Now, by dividing the number by 10, you would be making the number 10 times smaller. This means that the decimal in the number 53.26 would need to be moved one space to the left. This is because every single digit in our number has become 10 times less valuable. So moving our decimal one space to the left really means we've pushed each digit one space to the right. So if you take the same number and divide it by 100, you would be making it 100 times smaller, which means the decimal would need to be moved two spaces to the left. And this is because every single digit in our number has become 100 times less valuable. So moving our decimal two spaces to the left really means we've pushed each digit two spaces to the right. And if you take the same number, divide it by 1,000, you would be making your number 1,000 times smaller, which means the decimal would need to be moved three spaces to the left. And this is because every single digit in our number has become 1,000 times less valuable. So moving our decimal three spaces to the left really means we've pushed each digit three spaces to the right. So now that we understand what happens when we divide numbers by 10, 100, or 1,000, let's divide numbers ending in zeros. Now our first problem is 200 divided by 40. Now I'm gonna show you three steps to make problems like these easier to solve. The first step, we need to make the denominator, that's 40, also known as our divisor, into a single digit number. And to make 40 into a single digit number, we need to make it less valuable, which can be done by dividing it. So what should we divide 40 by to make it into a single digit number? Should we divide it by 10, 100, or maybe 1,000? That's right. We need to divide it by 10. 40 divided by 10 equals 4. So we've completed our first step by making 40 into a single digit number. Now with division, if you make the divisor a certain number of times more or less valuable, you would also need to make the dividend equally more or less valuable to maintain the same value. This leads to our second step. We need to divide our numerator, 200, also known as the dividend, by the same number we divided our denominator by. So that means you'll divide 200 by 10 as well. And again, 200 divided by 10 means we're making 200 10 times less valuable, which means it will become 20. So we've completed our second step, which was to divide the numerator by the same amount. So now you can see we've created a problem that is much easier to solve. And our third and final step is to divide the numerator by the denominator. And that means our dividend by our divisor. And 20 divided by 4 equals 5. Next, let's divide 1,200 by 300. So again, our first step is to make our denominator 300 into a single digit number. So what should we divide 300 by to make it into a single digit number? That's right, we need to divide it by 100. 
300 divided by 100 equals 3. So we just made our denominator into a single digit number. And our second step is to divide the numerator, 1,200, by the same number we divided our denominator by. So that means you'll need to divide 1,200 by 100 as well. Again, this means we're making 1,200 100 times smaller, which means it will become 12. So now that we've created a division problem that is much easier to solve, let's solve it. We're going to finally divide our numerator by our denominator. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Okay, let's try one more problem. Let's divide 27,000 by 9,000. First step, let's make our denominator 9,000 into a single digit number. So what should we divide 9,000 by to make it into a single digit number? That's right. We're going to need to divide this by 1,000. And 9,000 divided by 1,000 equals 9. So we made our denominator into a single digit number. And step two, we need to divide our numerator, 27,000, by the same number we divided our denominator by. So that means you'll need to divide 27,000 by 1,000 as well. And remember, this means we're making 27,000 1,000 times smaller, which means it will become 27. So now we've created a division problem that is much easier to solve. So let's solve it. So we're going to divide our numerator 27 by our denominator 9. And 27 divided by 9 equals 3. So you can use these three steps to help you when dividing numbers ending in zeros. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.